everyone. I'm here with Nick Shishka, Manager of Sales Operations for Imaging at Edmund Optics, also known as our in-house imaging guru. Can I call you that, Nick? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, hi, Nick. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Scott. Yeah, sure. So, Nick, you are talking to customers every day. You're in the trenches. You have a true sense of what's really going on in the industry, not just the same news headlines we all see every day. So tell us, what are some trends you are seeing out there from the perspective of Nick? Sure. So we're actually seeing a continuation of a trend that, that tends to be pretty constant throughout machine vision, and that is an increase in resolution. But you tend to see it in two different ways. You tend to see either a decrease in pixel size or an increase in format. And that tends to be relatively cyclical. And right now we're seeing an increase in the format size. And so we're not seeing a decrease in pixel size, which is great from the optics perspective, but we are seeing that increase in the size of the sensor, which means that the lenses have to grow in order to keep up with that. Interesting. So what type of application spaces are you seeing these new sensor technologies in? Yeah, so we're seeing them go into two different types of spaces. One where the application was already solvable with the previous generation technology, but now it's able to be solved faster, more efficiently, and with higher resolution. And we're also seeing, and probably more interestingly, applications that were not previously solvable uh, with machine vision is now being is now solvable with machine vision. So you have higher resolution, you have higher dynamic range. And you have the overall ability for the lens and the camera system to perform better, which means that these are pushing more into robotics and more into autonomous vehicles and autonomous systems. And we'll continue to see that trend grow as time progresses. Yeah, so I'm sure there are many other trends worth sharing. And as we all know, things change in imaging pretty much by the hour. Um, so as you know, well, I hope you know, we are holding a virtual imaging innovation summit next month where we'll be addressing not only what we just talked about, but many other interesting developments as well, correct? Yeah, I'm super excited for our second uh, Imaging Innovation Summit. The first one that we did, I had a blast in the lab with everybody uh, physically turning knobs and dials and showing the concepts in real time on a real application so that you can actually see the real impacts that changing things like color and changing focus and different focal lengths and stuff like that has on a machine vision system. And so we're going to continue to show that and get a little bit more complex with what we went over uh, last time. Well, that's great. Well, thank you, Nick. And thanks everyone for listening. If you want to hear more from Nick and many other industry experts, join us on June 3rd, 1 p.m. Eastern time, where we'll be defining the future of imaging through sessions around sensors and other emerging technologies. Um, our number one goal for these summits is just to share trends and spur innovation, innovation in the imaging industry, specifically around optics benefits us all. So thanks again, Nick, and we'll see you in June.